Hi guys, welcome to Digital Step by Step Painting. Today we're going to be painting this pretty little birdhouse with a vine growing all up around it. So I hope you have a piece of cardboard or a canvas or some paper and brushes and the paints that we'll need are blue, white, black, green, red, and yellow. And we can get start. Oh, we don't need brown because we're going to make brown. And we're going to, we don't need purple because we're going to make purple. So I know you don't know how, but I'll show you how when we get to that part. So let's get started. Okay, guys, so we're going to start with our background color. So this is a color that we're kind of making. I've got a little bit of this turquoise which is a good color to start with. And I have some paint left from the last thing I painted. So I'm gonna scoop a little glob of that right there. Very technical term, scooping globs. And put a little bit of this bright blue with it. Let's see. When you're mixing up colors, you want to try and kind of keep it all in the middle. Now because it's a sky, I would like for it to be just a little bit lighter. So I'm going to grab a little white and stir that in as well. And this is probably more than enough paint to do the background color. Gonna paint the whole canvas, your whole paper, your whole piece of cardboard. Just gonna paint the whole thing blue. And spread it out so you don't end up with lots of globs. Now I'm going to go do long canvas length brush strokes and kind of try and make it smoother looking. Now this next part. We're going to be kind of drawing with paint. So get the brush that you feel like you have the most control. I feel like I've got the most control with this little square one, but whatever you have that you feel like is kind of sturdy and will do a, a line for you, the first thing we have to do is we're going to decide where this little line is going to be that's the bottom of our birdhouse. And it's not in the middle but it's a little bit lower so let's get a little black and let's find the middle and take it a little lower and we'll go like this all the way across there if it's not perfectly straight to start with it's okay now we're going to do the stake that the birdhouse is sitting on. So it's kind of like, we're gonna do two lines and color in between them. Now I'm filling in right now with black, but we're getting ready to make a little bit of brown. And you don't have to have brown. If you have brown, that's pretty cool. But if you don't, We'll just make it. So we need green. We need green and red to make brown. So I'm going to put a little dollop of red. And because I'm sort of didn't have a lot of green out there anymore. And I'm going to rinse my brush of the black and then mix up my brown. So once again, just try and kind of swirl it towards the middle. You can start watching the green and the red create a brown color. So you're learning a little color theory as we go. There you go, a nice brown. And we're going to add a little brown streaks down in here in this wood. There you go. Now we're going to do the sides of our birdhouse which are not um, straight they kind of angle out a little 
So using the yellow that I already have out here, let's draw these sides. So we're going to bring them kind of like that. And like that. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and make the top of this. So we want it to be kind of like going up to about there. Maybe there. Okay. So let's go and bring it back down to there. Now, the thing, the trick here is we're going to fill this in. And because we're going to fill in all this space, let's use our big brush again. So load that and get a fair amount of yellow and you're just going to drag it down through there. And you'll see that some of the blue comes through and makes it look a little bit green, which is sort of pretty. Now we need to paint the roof and the roof is interesting because um, it's also going to be black, but we're going to add a little brown on top of that after we get the black on. We're just going to let the roof hang off here a little bit. So we start it down below the line of the house and let it come all the way up like that. And then back up there now I want this side to be a little thicker because it's a little bit of a trick perspective now let's go ahead and add a little brown to our roof and I'm not even going to rinse off my brush for that I'm just going to grab a little brown and go like that on top there we go now we need to put the hole so the little birdies can get in there and build their nest. So we're going to do a circle. We're going to freehand a circle right here. So you can start with a dot. Just go around it. And just make your dot a little bit bigger. And a little bit bigger. Until you think it's big enough for your little birdie to go in. There we go. Now, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to do a little dry brushing with this black and a little bit of the brown down here at the bottom. So I'm putting it on my brush and then I'm kind of swishing it off on the paper and then going like this. I just want the birdhouse to look like it's weathered a little. We're going to add a little bit of yellow back. We want to bring it down. There. Now it's time to do our vine. The vine is, once again, use the brush that you felt most comfortable drawing with because this is what we're doing now. And I'm going to put a little green out here and we're just drawing them in so our vines are going to go all the way around the pole and in front of and behind our birdhouse so let's start in front of we'll go like this and let it circle around 
then it would naturally come to right here and go like that again here we go and then this side is going to come up here and go like that go like that and then I say let's let it come like this And then this one will go like this. Well, we want this vine to be all over our little birdhouse. And it can maybe loop and go out like this a little. So now you can see where it is and we picked up some of the brown from the, the wooden post below. So I'm going to sort of fix that. And then the next thing we've got to do is put in our leaves. I know right now it's hard to see it, but we're going to go back over everything and it'll be a much clearer. We'll put our leaves in. We're just going to do a little leaf shape. I don't know what else to call it. We'll put them in random spots. Leaves don't grow where you think they ought to. They grow where they want to. There. Now we've got all these leaves, so it's time for us to kind of go back over our leaves a little, where we feel like they're a little bit see-through. Because when you're painting wet paint on wet paint, it sometimes does that. There. Now, we're going to use our tiny brush and come back in and add some highlights and some lowlights. But first, we've got to paint these pretty flowers. So we need red. And if you want to just have red flowers, you can do that. I'm kind of going for purple. So I'm going to mix red and blue and maybe a little bit of white. Let's see what color we get. This should give us a pretty good purple color. That's not a bad looking little purple. So let's get started with, I'm going to use kind of a long, thin brush to get my petals in. And we're going to put the, the petals of the flower wherever you want them. I'm just painting petals and then some of them are going to be like little dots Now once we've got all the purple on there, we're going to get a tiny bit of red and we're going to highlight these guys with a little bit of red. Okay, whoop, 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 whoop. We need 
need just a little bit of white and I've already got some right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a tiny bit of white and maybe add a little bit to this. Make some highlights. Now we're going to take a little bit of black and let's just go, we're going to kind of put a little bit of black on the vine at the bottom. Or wherever we think we, it needs a little delineation. Let's get a little bit of this yellow. We're going to put a dot to create the center of our flower. Now, I think we need just a little bit of white on our petals just to kind of help them pop out from against the background. Now we need to do a little highlight in the, in the hole where the birdies would come in. So we're going to make a little moon shape. So we just go like this. And now that the birdhouse is kind of dry, we're going to add just a little bit more of this yellow. Bring it down from here. You don't want it to be 100% yellow everywhere. Thank you so much for joining me today for step-by-step -step painting. I want you to know that I miss everybody and I can't wait to have a class again soon. Please join us for another step-by-step -step painting pretty soon. Thank you.